Ya, abusi ya, wese opa se uhu taiti na mwenhinta samana manfa mbaro. He said he wanted to know the mystery of Titan that I didn't give out. And when you have I can see you really want to know a lot. Mumu bebre so muti audio na monsha da ma comment ma ye who say ma ye ya no mane jeho na asa mane jeho. There are many of you after listening to the audio, you don't give us any comments or we don't hear anything from you to know whether what we are doing, you appreciate it or not. Introduction to the title, no. Me find sign you obi aye. Into say we need you one. Should I say we need you one? To me find sign no. Me never mind. Introduction to tight payment. I haven't sent it to anyone. If you are interested in it, just let me know. Then I'll let you have it. Afay into the so do do mo e hinta some nini. Now this is a mystery about Titan. Tight. Also for penny. Anna, our final say, our title. The tithe is a, is a senior or the high priest who has a final say over tithe. And then, you know, as of one ketwe nina ajejen tutu suo dudua. Therefore, when junior pastors or priests take the tithe, omu dini nina koma as of one penny, they gather it and give it to the senior pastor or priest. Na as of one penny, you know, abo son pana de osa oye biyano de aye. Then the senior pastor or priest prays over it and continue to do whatever he has to do with it. And ministry all the branches, district, area, regional level the bank at the core headquarters. There's this church that I don't want to mention the name. When all the tithes are collected at the district level, local level, um, regional level, area. area, and what have you, we all pay it to a particular bank to go to the national. And out of this money, some of them are used as expenditure on pastors and other things. Now, who are so for penny? Now the senior man of God that the tithe have come to you, that you have taken some to pay the junior pastors and resorted to some expenses. You also need to take a tithe out of it and use it for something. And then two years of a penny or jet, you are quite a shadow, could they also or they know? No, I ask, sir, who was some cassier? Ye are no one, yammy. Therefore, as a senior man of God who has been taking tight, I want you yourself to go and find out what you're supposed to use that money to do, or else one day you have yourself to be blamed before God. Amen. Amen. The scientist, tight, you know, where to hear you know. Therefore, after you have finished paying tight. I'm about to show you a certain mystery about tight. So when you read the book of Malachi, so what you are tighter? When you pay your tithes, warehouse, storehouse. It shows that whenever you pay your tithes, you put it at a warehouse or a storehouse. And no, and I'm sure what the edi kind of money say. And no chile se wo tight na wutu ya no. E ye susu bi a wo ye. E ye bank account bi a wo bi a with God when you start paying tight. In my first audio, I did mention that anytime you pay your tight, it's like a savings or a, a savings that you are doing with a bank. It could be a, a current savings or um uh, current, current. I say savings. Yeah, current or savings. Yeah. Therefore, when you begin or you start to pay your tithe, on your coupon, a create a storehouse, a warehouse, a savings, a box to say post office box, I will post a letter, or be a bit amount. So, anytime you begin to pay your tithe, the Lord God creates a storehouse, a warehouse, a box, something like the post office box. He create that thing for you. And into a baby or turn to the sudo. Therefore, anyone who pays tight, on to the sudo do no a sika and now say, 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 yeah, a diane, a dear beer would be into the sudo do no. 
whatever thing that you are using as a point of contact for your tithe, whether it be money or it be food or whatever it is. Oh, sir, to Tim Ramon and Yanko Pon catch that one, sir. A jumo bibi a yano no yi sun tutu sududu. Have you realized that in the olden days, God told them that pay tight out of the work that you are doing. Ne sa nti no se wonye mo a wiye mo a no sun tutu sududu. Adie bi a wiye no, eno sa de kode na na wodi ko yi tutu sududu no. Whatever that you are doing, you may be used to real animal. You take tight out of the animals you real. Whatever activity you do, you take your tight out of it. Amen. Amen. And nti no se wode kwa. Therefore, when you bring the tithe before God, then the man of God, whatever they want to, they have to use it to do, they will use it to do. Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 25. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 25. And I read, Then shalt thou turn it into money, and bind up the money in thy hand, and shalt go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. Amen. Amen. I said, Danny no sika. He said, it change or turn it into money. And into the under tight, you can be an ababa yesika, sika, 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 That is why in our days, when we talk about tight, it all boils down to money. As I said, it's a miracle. So, be the name she the choir. No more the name she no a bar for you or show up for you at the ma on your couple. In those days, when someone takes a calf or a, a calf to for suck, um, as an as, as a tight. They they use it as a bent offering to God. Uh huh. So we be the Ebru bunch, full staffs. We do not hold niyama de kwa. We no so so no. We will show up for ya aya we bo e de mani ankopo. When someone take corn, plantain or full staff as a sacrifice, it also comes with a form of bent offering unto God. And into the nini na no a jume biya wo ya no. We no na wo yu mudu e de koma onyama kopo onkro fo. So whatever work or profession you are doing, out of your work, you take one tenth of it and give it to the man of God. In our days now, we don't kill animals such as goats, such as cows, such as any other animal. Neither do we even raise an altar and burn uh, f- food farms. But in our days, he says, sell all those things and get it money equivalent and give it to the man of God as your tax. And so when, when you sell it and you get the money, the money does not belong to you. It is your tithe. And it is a no bitch our dear who two idea who we hear Juma idea be a bawn chain so when yano. What do you soon to do so to do the command yanko ponipa? So now anything that you get, anything that reaches you, for don't forget that you need to take your tithe out of it and give it to the servant of God. To what the command yanko ponipa na or no why you would hear you when you give it to the servant of God, you are done with your part. Now, woman, it's here in here. But listen now. The servant of God that you are giving your tie to, say, if he is indeed a genuine man of God, and then your tithe will get to God. But if he's an agent of Satan, and you were tight now where you never crack or carbon and someone, sir, then your tight would get to Satan. And I saw all your four one nine in Panso. If he's a froster, and you were tight, never crack or count four one nine peninsa, then your tight will end up in the hands of the leaders of the frosters. And I may know a case, sir, or your ODD software, and also what tight never crack or count a Dianensa. If he's a man of God who delights in eating a lot. Okay. If he's, he's, he's into ministry because of what you eat, then remember that your tithe will end up in that place of eating. Uh-huh. In the first place, you need to know whether the person you are paying your tithe to is a, indeed a genuine man of God. And I feel so much trauma, sir. Bible school, and more be my also. No, be real Bible school and chess and yamis wafro. And I've already told you that Bible school does not make someone a pastor or a man of God. Or when someone completes Bible school, it doesn't guarantee that the person to start a church or a pastor. 
And into a baby, I say, my quenya soft one to the end, my bay, I'm a whole soft war. And the one more, my name, uh, Laura, crying where fear, fear, must say, walk a cancer and pana, don't know why I soft one. Sam Crawford and Shadan, yes, soft war. Anyone who had gone to Bible school for training, I said, I'm now a man of God. Or those who go about in various houses and market centers preaching the word of God, claiming they are man of God. Don't forget that anytime you give something to these people, they are not really men of God as they claim to be. Afebe Mawati as yes, a Jehovah witness for Omo de Bag and one book seen in a mafia fear across some patre. Now look at these people, the over witness. You see them normally going about doing evangelism with their books and their bags with on them. Sa so said a young couple, I share a Christo for you, and you pay beer over your Christo ni. Sir, we should go ye and preach the gospel. Likewise, has God instructed everyone who has become a Christian that we should go into the world and preach the gospel of God. Ne sentence so be a one num. Now, what can you mean? Someone man can say an interview or so fool. Therefore, if you are going around and preaching the word of God, that doesn't mean you are a man of God. And it is so be the name to so do the mawa. For come out so for penny. Now, who and who can say we use you? Such a person, when someone gives his or a tithe to you, you don't have the right to, to take it, but use it, but go and give it to your senior pastor or senior man of God. And it is no more tithe, mutia, no more shebe, be a mutia de koye. Therefore, the tithe that you are paying, check the place where you pay your tithes. And I feel so soon, your bank a horwa, what you have, what you have done, how could I, what you have done, bank be bre, you close. And when you take a critical look at Ghana like this, you realize that there are many banks that have been shut down or closed. And in the in sorry baby, we hold on. Now in sorry, we free nyankopan. Now so so, and the day no nyankopan we cross us out. In sorry, we in our name. There were churches that initially used to be of God, but now, as I speak to you, the Lord Himself has closed His eyes on those churches. And in the so what the so sorry, we na we tiya we do to so do do omo and who say. Sasa na utima utia unti tu sodo du wamuno. Enko ni enko pon chain biom. Ese se sasa asoro no wahasa asoro de. Na aso ni enko pon wa cheno hon efri asoro nim. We yi asoro ni efri nim enya ne dia biom. Therefore, if you happen to be a member in such a church where you know you pay your tithe every time now and then, the Lord used to be with the church, but he has no, he has now departed or his presence has left the church. So any amount you pay there as church as a tithe, the Lord does not see it. As a tight. Amen. Amen. And as you see, as you know, we saw we were here, we had to talk as we see a dying, she had jet, and then near my cassia womb, I want for tight, you cry in your hair. On your now, you talk about come on or soft work to be a D. Now that's what you are tight, the man or non qua. Now soft one to an assuming you be, non to your tight, mom won't find the dinner. Would you desire a son man and your messes or walk half hour to do so? Your man of God or your pastor, by the grace of God, is well to do, right in cars, living a good life. His life is treating him quite well. But you keep paying your tithe to him, and he's also not ready to give it out to any other man of God. So why wouldn't you rather think of these genial pastors who are rather in need of the tithe to do the work of God? <laughs> I know that when these senior men of God, some of them hear this, they do not agree with me. They might even curse me in their various homes. But look, you yourself, look at what you are doing, whether you are not, whether you are being objective. My way and I are selfishness. What you are doing is selfishness. Hallelujah. Amen. And into the say, what you want to do to do, add the map person in Kumi house of where we are. What you say, I'm going to call the Bible. So if you pay your tithe to such a man of God who is selfish, do you think the Lord would see such a tithe? And I have some cow. It's something that I'm saying. I feel they are tossing you. The next thing. Your bank will be a whole more. Mubi in the first. And Anka would do a sicker cot two more. Anka would not have returns, allowances, and Kakrankra. And that's our bank, no. Or my allowance will be an emoji. I'll do cot two more yet. We have certain banks that initially, when you deposit money there, you used to get some returns out of the money. But now, because of the, the falling nature of the activity, Anytime you put money there, they rather deduct instead of giving you returns. Son, I quite see see. I sorry, be a hundred more. What you are want to do to do 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 do
in some churches now, when you pay your tithes, they rather you, you lose or it bring deduction in your life. There are certain men of God, when you pay your tithes to them now, you lose or it brings about deduction in your life. Because there are some men of God who initially, God himself had called them. But as I speak to you now, they themselves, they know they have diverted. So imagine yourself paying your tithes to a man of God who had diverted. Do you think that you gain something out of it? Hmm. Paying your tithes in a place and the land over there has a spy. Do you think that tithes can bear fruit in the future? Those of you into farming know this principle well that the more you continue to work or cultivate on a piece of land for a while, it loses its strength or value unless you leave it fallow for a time. As I speak to you now, there are certain churches that the land that they possess or they have has lost the oil value or the oil in it. But the men of God keep telling the members that keep paying your tithe. And whilst they do so, the oil content of the land is no longer there. Therefore, you need to look for a land which has enough oil in it, so that when you sow your tithe, it will get enough grounds for it to spring up. So, so for the name of the land, the land is not when the man of God is so ignorant that he doesn't even know anything about the land or even whether he has lost the oil in the land, do you think such a person, when you pay your tithe to, he can help your tithe to get any returns? But when you pay your tithe to, he can help your tithe to get any returns. But when you pay your tithe to, he can help your tithe to get as this audio is about to come out, this will put some men of God to assignment. This is when they are going to check and see whether their land has minerals in it or oil content in it. It will put them into assignment. Uh, so if they see it and they're able to do, we we'll thank God. If the minerals or the nutrients in the in the land has depleted, what do we do for it to be restored? Now let me show you the very place or the storehouse where God keep your tight. If you pay your tight and God places it in your box, your bank, your savings or current account. Steward even asked me a question that the Lord said that when you pay your tithe, he will block or he will resist the devourer. And I'm about to show you what the, it means, but he will, he will destroy the devourer. If you pay money into your account, which is your tithes, most men of God have said that that would cause your business to flourish. Many of them too have said that through that you never get sick. 
Bebre achirachira se, uti yao ntuti sudu ya mama wa ware aso. Some have also said that when you pay your tithes, your marriage would flourish or will be good. Aso afono bebre achirachira se, se uti ya tithes na achirachira se, asasi sudie, ubi biya benya nkwa suwa na ope juma kura omre. Most of them to have said that once you pay your tithes, means on this earth everything will prosper for you. Whilst you are even looking for a job, you will not struggle. As of one of you, I said, What you want to do? I said, 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 I have said, that when you pay your said, consistently, you easily get promotion at work. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I a sign of what I tell you. What I want to tell you that all this benefit they are talking about is just a quarter sign of what you're supposed to reap in a whole. What I tell you, sign your mayor, mobile boss, swing in an one and feminine, your men in an old mamma per se, mamma, what he has here and say, and I know ya and can't they are tight to your home What I want to tell you is that all these things that they are saying about which has to do with the physical things. It, it 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 doesn't really even cover a major aspect or benefit of tight. And no and can tight no hohe. Tight no and it didn't cover us. It's not even closer to what tight is all about. Now mum no tight no a spiritual savings. A ya hum hum film uh sika would you see an answer near my what they cra ama wan kasa wonho a what the hair debi. Tight is a spiritual savings or an account that you have opened for yourself. That in the days of trouble and the days of affliction, you you lie on it. Very good. Uh, I'm about to give you a testimony and I'll teach something out of it. A certain woman was sick and ended up at the hospital at Kolebu. Na mameno ekoda hano na yese na kume mwe tu tokurunti no. Whilst at the hospital, the doctor diagnosed her and they said she was experiencing a hole in heart. Therefore, the children should gather some money for surgery. The children too are finding it difficult to gather some money for the surgery. And in the Baba Koko Da saw them saying, I may cheer you who can I have first when you see Kenti, boy. So one of the children went to, to the house of God to cry to God, the Lord, we've done all that we can, but yet we are not getting anything. So help us. The woman two hours at the hospital was crying and praying, the Lord, have mercy upon me and heal me. The the woman said while she was lying down at the hospital, she saw someone standing by her, and she couldn't identify the person, whether he was a black or a white man. The person asked the woman, that, what is your name? And the woman mentioned her name, this person was holding a book in his hand, so he opened the book to cross-check the name of the woman and found her name. And after she has seen the name of the woman, she confirmed that, yes, indeed, woman, your name is in this book. Then I'm going, another person will come and look, will come and take care of you. The other one who also came also had a book in his hands. Now, what book in his hands? The saint who paid their tithe. And in that book, this thing, this inscription was in it. The saint who paid their tithe. And so when she the, the, the person checked the, the name of this woman was in the book. Now when she checked the tithe records of the woman which she had paid and had been accepted by God. It shows that the amount he had contributed so far can buy the woman's heart, which had already been destroyed. He told the woman that I'm going, another person will come. 
ma me no ho no ma no bi fufuro baaya ne pa ko no kura akoma no fufuro kura ewo a service tree be a year good share your fepper mo the woman was lying down saw another person coming in holding the fresh and a new heart in a service tree in a golden service tree I know so, mame. As mame say, we seek any who are the criminal. We seek a one bet me at all. The bet me so I'm a mame. Bet me a baba ya unhu adjustment no. Ye tuya meka na ya tua koma for France. Memra na memfa emasasa di asa inama. This person told the woman that in your bank account or in your warehouse, what you have accumulated accumulated so far is big enough to buy a new heart for you and also to pay me. To take you through a surgery. And into the only answer, I'm going to come out of that. No, no, I'm going to fall for a shell hard num. We are in our palm oil. No, no, I'm trying to say a more co. Now, a hard num. No, we are who say above for me and sending in a view. So what she realizes is that they took the old heart and placed a new one there and did surgery on her, and they told her they are leaving. From hand from for that day, they didn't see, he, he didn't see the edges again. The ama ma me no hu se waya abofu wo ne se ma me ne se wo mo ko ye chire no e na doctor buy e na doctor no buy e no se ma me ye be hell what made the woman realize they were angry was that after they have done whatever they are doing and gone that was when a doctor came in and the doctor said woman we are about to take you to treatment ana ma me ne se ah na ye mo na ma be hwe me wo ha no si si akwa o se no bi ama wo nche ye then the woman said ah why you know the what people came around to check me and also to operate me, then he said, No, no one has been here. The doctor said, Whilst I was coming, I was even coming to check whether you are alive or dead. That was when the woman sat on her bed and said, You gave me some food, I'm hungry. And the doctor was amazed. A friend in the animal doctor for you now buy. He called the other doctors to the scene. Sir, I'm my friend sent you and you are me. That come and have a look at what the Lord has done. Nini you know, sir, my men and my mother, my mother, my mother, my mother, from a doctor discharging his own coffee. The bottom line is that before the children came there, the woman has gotten a new heart and the doctors were ready to discharge her home. How much discharge her across? She had been discharged to the house. What would they attack it to me? Have you seen what tides can do? Obi, so, so, Another person also was carried away by the sea. Eddie and Nanson. And uh, spent three days over the seven. Seven. Seven days there. Now brought that punumuno. So was in the sea. I know who said, Omo aye a danki twebi keji no to say nkusye bisano. He saw that they have built a small house or home which looked like that of an egg. Then two people came to stand there. And they took a book and they were flipping through whilst on the water. Then the one holding the book told the one holding the cage that. He said, Well, she has enough money here to pay, so give it to her and let her sleep in it. Nini na anse aye sikaba ya aye nintu tuso dudu nti wa de a dying man o ema ne demu wo nsuo no mu enanso people of god what is it about the man is about her tight so as a result of that they gave the cage to her for her to sleep in it whilst on the water for 7 days me no ka se ndi ohu ya ne se a dying no wuro wuro wo nsuo no mu sada na ba tompo ano all she realized was that this house or this house she was in had road on the sea and had moved to the seashore. Maybe be so old to so do no, and yeah, my yan ye been in our soft and I can say, Emma, one more canoe. I'm telling you, what your tide is capable of doing, it, it, it goes beyond what the pastors have been telling you that you don't end up losing. Old to so do do, Massa, our home money, Chow won't cross, so I yet they won't come for fruit, you sorrow at the brow. As a result of your tides, if demonic powers had sabotaged your, your age, it could cause more age to be added to you. I say, "O be sure the devourer no coin." He said, "I will break the devourer." Ne senti untu tu suo du du no ema wono wonsa ka osoro bai mosun kumbia wama watokoresha na wontu yantu tu suo du du no wonibi. 
Therefore, as a result of your titan, you are able to get certain divine protection that is so unique that those who normally pay offerings without even tithe do not get that protection. Therefore, what I want you to understand is that there are so many mysteries about payment of tithe. Very soon, I want to unravel all this mystery to you. You are going to see so many testimonies and so many things that people have experienced as a result of tithe. Therefore, look for the man of God that you pay your tithe to. May God bless you. From the number we zero two four seven seven zero one three six four one. Now, mention that papa ne aso for papa. Obe timi tuya want to so do do at the amount. Call this my number zero two four seven seven zero one three six four, and I'll show you the men of God and the churches that you can pay your tithe to, which will become very beneficial to you. God bless you. God bless you.